this is the exciting world of offshore powerboat racing seen by millions of fans during the 1985 season. And this is Team Apache, a division of Apache Powerboats of Hollywood, Florida. Founded in 1980, Apache Powerboats quickly became one of the top manufacturers of high-performance sport cruisers and racing boats. The principals soon recognized that offshore powerboat racing was the perfect form to show off their fine products. And what a showing they've made. And here comes a winner in offshore class two. This is the world championship, Ben Kramer in a 69 boat world I tell you, when you get a Bob Sassente in the cockpit along with Ben Kramer, it's no wonder that these guys are the defending 1984 world champions. What makes Team Apache such a dominant force in offshore powerboat racing? A big part of the team's success is due to the cockpit crew of the boats themselves. The driver for Team Apache is Ben Kramer, vice president of Team Apache. In just two short years on the circuit, Ben has established a reputation for doing what it takes to get across the finish line first. In 1984, Ben brought the world championship back to Miami, and last year only bad luck forced him to settle for third place in the international standings. Working next to Ben in the critical position of throttleman is Bob Sassenti. In 15 years of racing, Bob has compiled an impressive array of awards and championships in his own right. And his experience and great timing is a big factor in Team Apache's winning record. As navigator, the team often employs the services of actor Jimmy Kahn, an offshore racing enthusiast who decided to go with a winner when he entered the sport. But the world of offshore powerboat racing is more than just a sport. To companies with an interest in getting their names before the public, the racing circuit represents a rare marketing opportunity and the chance to get previously unheard of mileage from their advertising dollars. Each of the dozen offshore races has drawn, by the most conservative estimates, at least 150,000 live spectators for a total of at least a million five hundred thousand people during the 1985 racing season. And with local cable and network television exposure increasing every year, no fewer than a hundred million people will be exposed to offshore racing in the coming year. In addition, national publications such as the New York Times, USA Today, Sports Illustrated, Yachting, and a variety of other boating magazines have regularly carried stories about offshore powerboat racing. Not to mention countless local newspapers helping to lower sponsors' costs per impression even further. But who are the people watching offshore powerboat racing? And are they the kind of potential customer that you are looking for? Well, research has shown that over two-thirds of all spectators are willing to pay to see the races and your sponsorship message. Most of these fans are in their prime earning years. And with an average income of $40,000, they have the discretionary dollars most advertisers are looking for. In addition, some 72% of these spectators are college graduates. 15% of whom have earned a professional or advanced degree. Clearly a group of individuals who know what they want and can afford to go out and get it. In fact, the total spent at racing events by the viewing public is over $20 million. As we said earlier, the sport of offshore powerboat racing offers advertisers a unique opportunity to get mileage from their promotional dollars. And by now, you're probably wondering just where this mileage comes from. When your company sponsors a racing team, the people at Team Apache believe you should get more for your money than just a decal on the boat. That's why the Team Apache full sponsorship program includes opportunities for sponsor showings on not only the Deep V hull and catamaran racing boats themselves, but on the giant semi that hauls the boats from race to race, on the 22-foot parts and machine shop truck, the one-ton dual cab team truck, team and pit crew uniforms and last but not least the team apache helicopter always sure to make a lasting impression on live and television viewers alike and all this exposure at a cost that makes sense within your promotional budget better still as a new marketing innovation this year team apache will have fully stocked merchandise booths at each and every race where those affluent racing fans may purchase team apache merchandise with your corporate logo if your company is looking for even more than 100 million viewers, extensive national and local press coverage, and high-quality enthusiasts, consider the benefits of image. Every year, more and more well-known personalities are developing an interest in the sport of offshore powerboat racing. Sammy Davis Jr. is a big fan, and he lends his name to more than a few events each year. In fact, in the 1987 season, there will be a Davis Cup of sorts with a special long-distance San Francisco to Los Angeles race scheduled for sometime that July. 
At the Miami Offshore Challenge in 1985, no fewer than three of the Miami Dolphins were in attendance, and they participated in television interviews with their impressions of the race. One of the competing boats was driven by Prince Rainier of Monaco, and of course actor Jimmy Kahn is an active member of Team Apache. Yes, star quality. It's just one of the many reasons so many smart organizations are getting aboard the offshore powerboat bandwagon. Currently, there are 12 APBA-sanctioned races scheduled in 1986. Several other special events are in the planning stages and may be added to the schedule during the season. From New York to Michigan, to the Bahamas and Key West, all the way to Auckland, New Zealand, offshore powerboat racing is the sport of the 80s, with a base of loyal fans, constantly expanding local and national television coverage, and a growing cadre of celebrity enthusiasts. So join the smart money and hitch your promotional wagon to a star 